Well, the team that has been nearly unbeatable on its home floor suddenly looking vulnerable playing inside the kennel. Welcome to SWX Tonight. I'm Sam Adams. Yeah, and I'm John Collette. Since 1999, only two teams have had a better winning percentage at home. But tonight, Gonzaga was in danger of losing for the third time this season at the McCarthy Athletic Center. Uh, BYU beat the Zags in their last visit here and in GU's 41-game home winning streak last season. Trying to make it two in a row tonight. Let's pick it up in the second half. Kyle Wilcher carrying the Zags offensively in the post with the hook shot. GU up by 13, largest lead of the ball game. That lead down to eight now. DeMontis Sabonis missing on the jumper. Wilcher with the putback and the foul. Sabonis would foul out with just five points. Now, here come the Cougars trying to take advantage. Down by five. Less than four minutes to play. Kyle Collinsworth for three. Suddenly, it's a two-point ball game. Two minutes to play now. GU playing some defense. Chase Fisher trapped in the corner, but he'll find Nick Emery. His only points of the ball game coming on that Gosh. three. BYU has the lead. Last chance for Gonzaga, down by one. Wilcher, who had already poured in 35 points on the night, uh, 37 would have won it. Blocked at the buzzer as the Zags fall in this one, 69 to 68. Gonzaga's third home loss this season, certain to send GU back out of the top 25. Well, we couldn't really get stops. I mean, and they got some tough players. I mean, Collinsworth is tough. He's one of the best players in the nation. I mean, he showed it. So we couldn't really stop him, and we gave up that crucial three. I um, mean, the guy hadn't scored all game, hit the, hit the big three. So, you know, kudos to him for hitting the shot, but we got to do a better job defending. They hung with it, came back, and, and uh, you know, had a tough matchup with Collinsworth, and he, uh, did a good job exploiting that. We brought doubles, and he's such a good passer. He found some guys there at the end, and, and uh, you know, that ended up being the difference. 